Get in here, sit there. Is this okay? Can you even sit wrong? What is the matter with you? Um. Don't answer that. Okay. Hey everyone, it's your favorite host, Howard Semple, back for a special podcast episode with the disastrous boom guy. So apparently, uh, you've become quite viral due to my show, and I thought we should just talk about our experiences together and how grateful you must be for making something good happen in your clearly pathetic life. Oh, okay. So let's start with the question that everyone wants to know. What is your deal? What is my deal? What is your deal? Um... Well, when I was a young boy, I was... Oh, my gosh. No, no go, go, go on. Talk uh, about your uh, young boy. Okay. Uh, well, as a young boy, I was always taught that you have to pull yourself up. And I was taught that not by my mother, but by myself, because I was the only one there for me. If I wanted to be anything, I was going to have to pull myself up and hold myself up. And so I thought, what a better career than holding up a pole. That's what you thought. You thought holding up a pole was the best way for you to give something to society? Just just gonna hold a pole? Did you try pole vaulting first, but then realized you were clumsy and incoherent? No, I just tried holding the pole above my head and it was a success from day one. Yeah, this must have been really tricky. Did you get a lot of training for that? Yeah, I went to, I went to university college. University College for Holding the Boom. Yes. Have you ever heard of college? Did you go? I did. I, I went, of course, to For four this, years? To, for all of the years. Wow. Yes. And, and, and learned. So, okay. So, you, you hold, you, your whole life's work is to hold a boom. Yes. That, that was, that's, that's, that's <laughs> not good. That's not a good look. What's the matter with you? Your whole life work is to be annoying and for people to cut you off. My whole life's work is to do good and save people's life. You know who really saves people's lives? Who? Grant Man. Ever heard of him? Oh, yeah. Well, Grant Man is the one who inspired me and is actually the reason that, I'm a, that I pursued this form of holding something up. Why? Well, because Grant Man, he's obviously a superhero and he inspired me to want to help people and then I was walking through university's campus one day and I saw you and I thought, wait, could, could this be the grant man that I'd seen? And so I thought I need to join this guy's show to, to get closer to him. So hold on, so, so you're saying that um, you thought that I was a superhero. That's, that's actually not, not a terribly idiotic thing to come out of your mouth, which is surprising. So, so tell me, what was it about me that made you think that I was a superhero, that I could be Grant Man? That's just, just crazy. So tell me about that connection. Sure. Well, I'm, I'm sure you've obviously seen what he looks like. And you, I, you know that both of you obviously have that clown poofy hair and that physical stature of a loaf of bread that really just is so unthreatening to people. And it makes them so feel so at ease because they're like this guy could never harm me this guy could never do anything to me he's more of just like a leaf blowing in the wind than an actual tree well but what you're saying is like but as a superhero it means like i i don't have to show my strength but everyone knows that it's there because i'm a superhero well grant man's ability to blend in with just the average or even below average man was really what made him so um, effective because people, he would just walk in a room and people wouldn't even notice. Oh. Um. And you reminded me of him in that way. That it wasn't until you opened your mouth that people were like, oh, this guy is awful. Oh, because uh, like when I opened my mouth and offered my great advice and was, was really instrumental in changing people's lives, that, that's, that's what's super, huh? Well, that's me? what made me real. That was one of the things where I was like, this is for sure not Grantman because Grantman's really smart and I haven't heard you say anything that's like anywhere near the average IQ level yet. Well, I, I mean, heard you. Well, actually, that was um, the director. That's true. Yeah. 
but I mean, that, that was just like a small piece. The main thing that was just so obvious, and I'm sure everyone listening, and you probably thought this the whole time too, was that, well, Howard doesn't wear a mask and Grantman does. So yeah, it was, it was stupid. Wait, so you're saying that you think that I'm not Grantman because I don't wear a mask? Well, I know you're not Grantman because you don't wear a mask. But if I wore a mask, like if I put one on my face, you might like think I'm Grantman again. You might think I'm a superhero. So if I, all I have to do is put on a mask and you'd be like, whoa, he's super. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. I, I don't understand what you're saying. So you're saying like having a mask but not wearing it all the time makes it impossible for you to ever wear a mask? No, you don't wear a mask. I don't, I don't know if you understand. You don't wear one. But what if I put a mask on? No. I don't see that happening. You, you, you don't. You don't see me putting a mask on? Like it's impossible for you to picture me putting a mask on my face? Is that too much I'm, for you? I'm trying to comprehend it and I'm coming back with nothing. So My brain is like your thoughts right now. Empty. What? Hey! What are you doing here? How Howard! Is that you? Hi, Hira. I'm just doing an episode of your podcast for you. You can't be here. You're not you can't do my own podcast. Just get out. No, it's, get out uh, now. I, I can't go to jail again. Episode 5. Peter Savetta as Howard, Eli Savetta as Boom Guy, and Copita Chicote as Hira. Written by Peter Savetta and Eli Savetta, with Copita Chicote. Stephen Poon, and Megan Wood. Created by Northwestern's Office of Undergraduate Research and Northwestern IT, with funding provided by the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations.